Hey everyone, it's Julio Ramon, product manager here at ICANN, and today I'm going to introduce you to the Beholder EC1. The Beholder EC1 is a new handheld 3-axis stabilizer and a new addition to the ICANN gimbal family. It's designed for mirrorless and DSLR cameras, and it can support weight between 2 and 4.5 pounds. What this means is that the EC1 now has the ability to gather information on each motor. Information like the direction it's going, the position it's in, and even the speed. With this information, the EC1 can now make adjustments on the fly, which will increase the stabilization, and it will also increase the battery life by performing at a more efficient rate. Now that we know what's going on on the inside, let's take a look at the outside. On the outside, we have this nice, big, wide, comfortable grip. On the front, we have a joystick that will let us make tilt and pan adjustments to our camera. On each side, we have a quarter 20 mount. This will let you attach accessories such as microphones, lights, monitors. And on the back, we have this mode button that will allow you to switch operating modes and an OLED screen that will give you battery life and also tell you which mode you're operating in. On the bottom of the handle, we have a 3 8 thread, which is perfect for mounting the EC1 to a monopod or even a tripod. Now I'll talk about everything on top here. The EC1 has a newly designed quick release base plate system, which makes mounting your camera a lot easier. It makes it a lot quicker. It's very simple to just slide in and slide out. There are several balance points on the EC1, each one being toolless and also being highlighted by each yellow knob located on the gimbal. A special feature about the EC1 is that each motor now has the ability to rotate 360 degrees. This is great because you no longer have a limited range of motion with your gimbal. Now we'll go ahead and turn this on and we'll talk about each operating mode that the EC1 has. There are a total of four operating modes with the EC1. By pressing the mode button once, we enter lock mode. And this means that each motor is now locked. The camera will stay in one fixed position no matter which way I move the handle. By pressing the mode button twice, we now have the ability to pan. The pitch motor and the roll motor remain locked, but the yaw motor opens up, which gives you the ability to pan left or right. Next, if you press the mode button three times, the pitch motor opens up. So now we can tilt down, pan right, pan left, and have the roll motor remain locked. Finally, by pressing the mode button four times, we enter into a three-axis follow mode. This means that the camera will now follow me when I roll, tilt, and pan. This gives you a unique follow feature that isn't very common with other gimbals. Each one of these operating modes has the ability to operate while inverted. To do that, all you have to do is simply flip the handle above it. When you're ready to go back to normal, simply flip the handle back underneath. Finally, I'll show you the most unique feature about the EC1, the point and lock feature. It's exactly what it sounds like. You simply grab the camera, point it in any direction that you desire, Hold for two seconds, let go, and it remains locked. This is great for those run and gun situations where you need to set up your shot quickly. Sometimes you don't have time to fiddle around with the joystick, so it's better to just simply point in the direction you need it, lock it in place, jump to your next shot, lock it in place, jump to your next shot, lock it in place. Which is great because you now have the ability to set up your shot quickly, which is great for live events. Now, when you're ready to return to its normal position, you simply press the mode button five times, 
and the EC1 will reset. For more information on the EC1 and video tutorials on how to balance your camera, visit us at iCanCorp.com. My name is Julio Ramon. Thanks for watching.